interstellar object or whatever the heck it is guys is not gone not yet we have another chance to observe it not from earth but from jupiter basically guys it was closest to earth yesterday december 19th and i have news about that and now it's on its way to jupiter and guys that it is on its way to jupiter is a bit mysterious i find it very mysterious it's one of the anomalies for me the most groundbreaking space breaking and i have to tell you guys I'll get to the Jupiter story in a second. So we do have no images, but they have been taken not by NASA or official institutes. I mean, if we're always waiting for their pictures, guys, we can watch paint dry on the wall. This is how long it takes until they release something. But our great hobby astronomers, they have taken pictures and I think they're really good. And what they feature is, we still see on these images, this mysterious, famous, anomalous, or prominent anti-tail. This anti-tail jet that is pointing towards the sun. And this is strange already, but there is also something wrong or anomalous with the length of the jet. The jet is 10 times longer than it is wide and that is really really strange because the solar winds if it points towards the sun should push against it and widen it so it looks really like a narrow projected tail which is very very strange and again I want to say that this has never been witnessed with any comate or interstellar object. I mean, we only have seen three so far and 3i Atlas is way larger, way faster. Never ever has anybody witnessed this long and then also tightly collimated anti-tail. We talked about this in my previous videos. If you wanna know more about this, um, I'll put my playlist about 3i Atlas in the end screen, then you can binge watch that and learn everything you need to know. And guys, while we're at it, can you please give this video a like and press that hype button that is somewhere in the comments or in the video description. That helps me out with my channel. Thank you so much. Doesn't cost you anything, so that would be nice. Thank you so much. So our amateur astronomers have released these images and it's really this massive anti-tail that you see there and the tail. I, I just saw comments from astronomers that said, well, they said two distinct tails. The background galaxies are visible in Leo. Structures, con structured, controlled looking morphology. Far from the chaotic behavior that is expected of natural comets. And then they said, one guy said, I, I like it. He said, if this is just a comet, then maybe leave cookies out for Santa's reindeer in five days. So to fully understand the nature of 3i Atlas, we must explain, especially, well, we have 15 to 16 anomalies, but especially this tightly collimated, super long anti-tail, we must find an explanation for that. Of course, as well as all the other anomalies. If you want to hear the anomalies, um, I will list them for you at the end of this video. And I said, it's, it was closest to Earth, but it's not gone. And I tell you, we've been watching it for quite a while when it was not close to Earth or not as close as it was now, right? But we have another spacecraft that might be able to watch it or a space vehicle. In the coming month, imaging and spectroscopic data will help us to figure out the mysterious properties of 3i Atlas, right? And the interesting part is when it's reaching Jupiter. And that's the strange part. This is, for me, this is the anomaly that baffles me the most. Because when 3i Atlas was in perihelion, when it was behind, basically hidden behind the sun, we couldn't see it. And then it was change, changing direction, trajectory towards Jupiter and towards Jupiter's hill radius. This is where you can basically park your spacecraft and circle around Jupiter without needing much energy. It's because of Jupiter's gravity. So it meets that. It changes direction and it meets that. So it flies in a curve close to Mars, close to Jupiter. It did avoid Earth though, but you have to imagine when this thing started billions of years ago in another galaxy, 
Oh, it didn't exist. It's not interesting. Jupiter is way larger, way more interesting, way better gravity to, to maybe build a base. Maybe they already have one there. Who knows? So we can collect more data in the coming months. And we're actually waiting for data to come out sometime between January and March that has already been collected in the last few months. But they need to wait until they can extract them from the spacecraft. But listen to this. I really want you to understand this. March 16th. 3i Atlas is getting closest to Jupiter, March 16th, 2026. So the forecasted perijove distance is 53.6 million kilometers. And that is so close to Jupiter's hill rad radius. Jupiter's hill radius is 53.5 million kilometers. So very, very precise. We've discussed this. If you're in the hill radius, Jupiter's gravity dominates over the sun's tide. So that's why you don't need much energy to stay there. And Jupiter is the biggest boy in our solar system. How can we monitor through I Atlas? Well, we have a spacecraft, guys. We have the Juno spacecraft. Well, Juno spacecraft is a NASA space probe that was sent to study Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. We should study it. So Juno's job is normally to, un to answer fundamental questions about Jupiter. What is Jupiter made of? How did Jupiter form? How does Jupiter's powerful magnetic field work? This is very, very interesting, right? Um, because Jupiter has shaped our early solar system. So if we understand Jupiter, it helps to explain maybe, hopefully, how Earth and the other planets have formed. Um, Juno was launched in 2011. Um, it arrived at Jupiter in 2016. So there you go. How long do our spacecraft need to arrive at Jupiter versus 3i Atlas that arrives there basically in a few weeks? It is still operated. It has an extended mission and its orbit is highly elliptical. It's a polar orbit, like north-south over the poles. And this orbit where they are, this avoids Jupiter's intense radiation belts that it has. And this is a very special spacecraft. It's the first spacecraft that can see Jupiter's poles up close. It has revealed these giant cyclones that are arranged in geometrical patterns, guys. They are. Maybe th another three atlas was already there. So something that it has, these, these geometrical patterns, has never been seen on any other planet. And then, of course, this gravity thing. Juno can measure tiny changes in velocity, and it allows scientists to basically see inside of Jupiter. And Juno has discovered that Jupiter has a fuzzy, diluted core and not a solid core. Juno found out that Jupiter's magnetic field is much stronger than expected, highly uneven, extremely complex. Juno looks beneath the cloud tops with a microwave radiometer, measures water and ammonia deep inside the planet. And Juno shows that Jupiter's atmosphere goes much deeper than thought. Why does Juno look different from what we see normally, what I've reported the last few weeks? Well, it runs on solar panels and not nuclear power. The, the panels are very large, they're huge, because sunlight is quite weak at Jupiter. It spins like a top, like 2 RPM for its stability and measurements. But we have to make clear, what is Juno not? And this is important when we are hoping that Juno can observe 3i Atlas. It's not a telescope. It's not a weapon. At least we don't know. It's not related to tracking comets or alien objects. We just have to basically reassign it to that. It's not designed to intercept or alter anything. It's, it's just a pure science mission. So Juno operates very far from Earth. It has extremely precise instruments and it studies extreme planetary environments. So that is what 3i Atlas is, right? So what is especially Harvard professor Avi Loeb, we've heard from him a lot, what he thinks what would be interesting to do with Juno 
He said it would be interesting to use Juno to monitor 3i Atlas with for unusual, any unusual activity, any, including such as the release of satellites, for example, especially when it passes Jupiter's Lagrange point, right? That gravitational point. So a lot is still to come, a lot more images, the mystery is still there, we have more questions than answers, and I'll be on the pulse or in space for you to find out about that, guys. Thanks for watching. Check the videos here in the playlist with all the information that you need. And uh, yeah, Putin gave his annual address and he mentioned 3i Atlas. So the question arises, is this a secret Russian space weapon? If you want to watch that video, it's here in the end screen. And if you want to watch what they found in the water, a big structure underneath the Bermuda Triangle. That's all kind of crazy. So watch the video here. Subscribe to the channel so that you can watch them all. Go always to my start page. Click on recent videos, on videos, then on recent. There you see it all. I want to say hello to all my channel members. Thank you so much for being members, for supporting the channel. And uh, I hope you're having a great time. And I hope I see you here in a second. Bye-bye.